Hello everybody and welcome to Camp Evergreen. My name is Katharina and I work here at the barn. And I just wanted to welcome you all to one of the many sessions that Camp Evergreen is going to be putting out over the next couple of weeks. So that way we, that way we can bring the camp experience to you. So the first barn session here is just a fun little barn tour. So that way you can sort of get to know the grounds that we work on as well as the different structures that we work within. So first we have our beautiful infirmary here. This is just a small little pen that we use if we ever get horses that are injured or just need to go on more of a stall rest kind of idea because we don't actually have any indoor stalls for them to rest in. So we use this little pen so that way they can still enjoy the sunshine and the green grass but they can't go running around and frolicking with their friends. And then over here we have our two arenas. And so we use these in summer for our horsemanship lessons. And then we also use them the rest of the year just to sort of work on more groundwork training with horses or just different training when we're just one person riding and we don't feel like going out on a trail ride. Okay, so this is our alleyway of the stalls. And so yeah, we've got 12 on this side and 12 on this side. We never use all 24 at the same time unless it's summer because then we have a lot more people riding horses. Normally, we just use 12 on this side for the string horses or the horses that you'll be riding and then three on this side for the Wrangler horses that us staff members ride. And no horse has their own individual stall. They don't live in these stalls during the day or during the night. <laughs> they just come in when they're working. And the reason why they have their specific numbers is because we want them to stay with their friends. So that way they can enjoy the trail ride and you can also enjoy the trail ride without your horse always turning around to fight the horse behind them because they don't like them. And when you come to the barn, this is where you will go first. And we have these lovely benches here that you would sit on while we do our pre-ride for you. And the pre-ride is just instructions on how to control your horse and what trail rides here at Evergreen look like. And then we'll also answer any of your questions about the trail rides at that time. And then once we're done with the pre-ride, you will head on inside here. This is the main barn area. So here in these cupboards we have helmets and so when you come here for trail rides we'll come in, you'll come in, we'll grab you a helmet and then you'll head out to the horse that you're riding. And we have helmets all the way from extra small to extra large so chances are we can fit your noggin with a helmet. <laughs> and then over here is our main tack area. So we have 33 different saddle racks because we have 33 different horses that we ride. So if you notice this board up here, it has all of the different horses in the Camp Evergreen herd and it has their numbers beside them. So each horse has their own saddle and set of tack so that way we know that it fits them and they can be comfortable while we're riding. So if I wanted to ride Chief, I would look up at the board and see that he's number 17. So then I could go over here to saddle rack 17 and I could find his halter, his bridle, his saddle, and all of his saddle pads as well. Basically everything I need for riding chief can be found right there on his saddle rack. Little makeshift feed room, which <clears throat> we have our three main different feeds here that we use just kind of as like general maintenance for horses or if a horse has worked super hard then we'll give them some extra feed just kind of like a post-workout snack and then we have our more specialized feeds over here so we have cat food which is just for the cats obviously horses don't like cat food and then we have a couple other ones for more senior horses just to help them stay healthy and keep their weight on during the hard winter months. We have 
our harnesses for our two Clydesdales, April and Irish. And this is where we'll bring them in to brush them, pick them, and harness them so that way we can then head out to the wagon to hook them up and do wagon rides for you. And then back here is our second box stall. And it's just kind of like our extra tack room. So we have extra saddles there, just in case we get a new horse who doesn't have a saddle, we have ones to fit them, as well as any miscellaneous tack also kind of goes back here. It is unfortunately frozen right now because everything's melting and then freezing during the night. Goes right out into our catch pen where our horses are. So at the end of the day, once all the trail rides are done, we untack the horses and then we'll bring them through the barn and out this door so that way they can rejoin their friends. Then out here we have three different pens that we use for very different purposes. So first we have our little round pen over there, which we use mostly just for ground work and that sort of thing with horses. And this is our large round pen, which we use mostly for riding exercises, helping horses gain their confidence. And then lastly we have our catch pen, which is where we have all of the horses during the daytime. We'll bring them in in the morning so that we can catch them in their it's the name catch pen. And get them ready for the day. And then at the end of the day, we put them in there. So that way they're all together when we herd them out.